Hey, what's up guys? I want to make a video trying this because this is the first time I'm trying it. We're trying it together. And if it works out pretty cool, then you could try it too. But I'm pretty sure it will work. Um, I'm making some homemade butter. And I'll tell you why. Recently, I was at a prepping club meeting. Yes, that's correct. I belong to a prepping club. Uh, actually, it used to be a gun club. And the person ran it, Harry, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. And uh, very knowledgeable in all kinds of things. And I used to love going to the gun meetings, but unfortunately I was really busy all the time and I couldn't go as often as I wanted to. Well, recently I was able to go back to another meeting, loved it, and it's kind of merged into a gun slash prepping club. You know, it's more so about the prepping as opposed to specifically just guns. And uh, they were serving a wonderful dinner, it was this really, really good chili and some crusty bread and some homemade butter. And I'm like, you know, how hard is it to really make butter homemade? Because it sounds like a great concept, I'm sure, you know, it could be cheaper if you do it right. And he's like, you're not going to believe this. You take a mason jar, you take some uh, some whipping cream or heavy cream, you pour it in there, and you shake it for about 15 minutes. You drain off the way, and you got butter. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> so, yeah, I never realized it was that easy. So we're going to be trying it today. Have my cream, have my jar. And that's literally all we're doing is popping the top off, opening the cream. And it's at about between 10 or 15 minutes. And you're just uh, just vigorously shaking it. So your arms will get tired after 15 minutes. But that's okay. And when you're all done, you're going to have your fat solids or your butter. And then you're going to drain off the whey. So I'm going to try this. I've never tried it before. Hopefully it works out. Pretty good. And um, of course I'm not going to film this. Although it would be funny if I uh, did a story time shaking this for 15 minutes. But that's it. Just literally, I'm going to do this for the next 15 minutes of my life. So I'll get back with you. When I'm done. <clears throat> All right, well, here we go. 15 minutes. Whew. I tell you, first two or three minutes, you're like, yeah, I got this, no big deal. Um, all you single guys out there, should not be a problem. Every other human being on the planet, your arms could be really sore and tired, so beware of that. Hopefully, I got some butter. Uh, one thing I will tell you that I noticed is that after about seven or eight minutes, um, shaking it, it, there's no more noise, no more sloshing. So you definitely can tell there's some kind of solids in there. And, uh, hmm, well, it's solid. Is it butter or whipped cream? Wow, that tastes like butter. What do you know? That, <laughs> that works. Uh, something to note here as well. Um, this is not salted butter. Most of what you're spreading on your toast in the morning for breakfast or, you know, whatever else you do, butter. Well, I don't know what else you use butter for. I can't think of anything. Grilled cheese. Um, it's all salted butter. Most of the time, unsalted butter is used for baking and stuff. So you will want to salt this to taste. But I have a separate container here. I know, is this going to pour out or what? Obviously, it's going to be on the softer side. Ooh. But um, that definitely tastes like butter. It's fluffy butter. I don't know if you um, were to shake this more, it would just solidify more, but you know, a little taste, make sure. Just make sure it's not whipped cream and tricking everyone. Nope. That's definitely butter. That is delicious butter. Let me see. Uh, Salt, a little salt action here, a little butter and salt together. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. You know, <laughs> it's funny. I'm not, I mean, I, I had it at his house and um, it tasted great. I didn't really believe it. It's just, it's really light, like whipped butter. Um, the consistency, I'm gonna have to put this in the refrigerator, see if it actually hardens up a little bit. But obviously, as you could tell, it's very easily spreadable which is great news. It tastes, I mean, it's butter. It's what it tastes like. It's just it, kind of whipped creamy texture. Um, I don't know if the refrigerator is going to harden that up or not, but most of the time when I have butter, I don't want it hard anyway. I want it spread on things. I want it melted. So this is perfect. That's amazing. I really can't believe it. That's um, surprisingly delicious. So there you go. It actually works. Um, in my case, I put enough uh, cream in here. I used, uh, let's see how much I used here. Uh, I put one pint of uh, whipping cream, heavy whipping cream in here. 
in a standard size bowl mason jar and I didn't have any way to pour out so perhaps if you use less maybe you do have way I don't really know but uh that this worked <laughs> this worked great so let me know this is all new to me this is the first time you ever trying something like this if you have tweaking on this uh you know process anything I need to do longer shorter um I don't know but that definitely tastes like butter to me so I'll be saving this and using this and last a long time that's what I'm gonna use but uh let me know give me some feedback on this so that's all just wanted to uh, share this with you my experience it came out great so thanks for watching hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you soon take it easy guys